So let's continue with our SharePoint quick questions and answers video series and we are on question number seven. How can we customize a SharePoint site? Okay, now uh, this question is from the aspect or from the perspective of admin customization and not from the perspective of, of developers customization. I'm not speaking here about that how we can put in a web part into a, how we can put customized web part into SharePoint or uh, how we can uh, uh, put in a custom template into SharePoint. I'm talking only from the admin perspective. In the further coming questions, we are going to cover those aspects. But at this moment, I just want to cover the admin perspective. Right. So let's open our site, share learn SharePoint, which we had created in the previous questionnaire. If you see at the right side, there is a site action menu. In the site action menu, you can see site settings. If you click on site settings, you will find five levels of customization which you can do uh, on SharePoint site. Users and permissions, look and feel, galleries, site administration, site collection administration. Now, as I said, this is these are admin level of customization and it's more of a click and customize, click, run and customize kind of uh, thing. So I will not be getting more deeper into that. But what I will do is that I'll show you two and two or three customization uh, aspects here. And then the rest one you can uh, look at yourself. Okay. So what I'll do is that in you know, one of the customization thing, what I will do is that I'll add a tab here called as Questpond. And if you click on that tab, it will go to questpond.com. So click on top link toolbar, add a new link. Okay. www.questpond.com. Right. And I say Questpond. Right. So you can see that here yeah, the Questpond tab is added. If you click on it, you go to the Questpond site. Right. Uh, let's do one more customization. Let's change the site theme. Easy. I can let's take a plastic. That's customized. You can see that how it has just on a click of a button, it has customized it. Okay. Uh, let's do some more customization. Uh, let's do let's do the tree view. So I also want to display the quick launch bar as a tree view. So if you click on that and if you go to home, you can see that now your structure has become more of a tree view. Right. Let's do some more customization. Um, let's go to let's okay. Let's customize the quick launch. Let's add a new new link in the quick launch. www.microsoft.com and okay. Let's say okay. And now go to home, you'll find a Microsoft link here. If you click on it, you go to the Microsoft.com site. Right. So you can see that, you know, you can achieve a lot of customization from this site settings. Okay. I'm not going to dwell more into the other things. Okay. I've just shown you, uh, as I said, it's more of a click and run. So I will not be dwelling more into uh, what are the other customization features. Like example, you can add a user, you can add a group, you can add advanced permissions, you can change the title, description, icon of the site, etc. So what I will suggest is, you know, uh, you can you can you can create a create a site and just try to fiddle around with these customization thing and how admin can customize. Remember that in SharePoint, when you, when we are talking about admin functionalities, it's very difficult that everyone can know everything. So what you should know is that where is this thing existing? For example, if I say that I want to do site customization, what you need to understand is or what you need to know is that yes, that is done in the site settings menu which exists in the site actions, right? If I want to create a web page, then in the site action, there is a create web page link. Okay. So what you need to understand is where is this feature existing? And then later on, as your project demands, you can, def you can use this, use these features in a more uh, deeper manner. Right. So I hope that I was able to explain you the customization aspect. The important part is that in SharePoint is that, you know, we have done no coding and we are able to get so much power or we can give so much power to the end user that he can completely twist and turn the website according to his uh, wishes.